I wouldn't say I, I necessarily had a moment where I felt like I could make it to the league. When I got in high school, I wanted to go to college, and I wanted to go to college for free. Going into my senior year, a lot of the guys that I was competing with, they already had offers. And I didn't have any offers, so I just had to continue to tell myself, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay, I'm going to eventually get it. My name is James Bradbury IV, and I'm a Hoka partner. So originally, I committed to Arkansas State, and I went there for a year. I didn't like playing safety at Arkansas State, and that's why I transferred, and I ended up at Sanford. And my time at Sanford was really the patient game. The patience game is you versus you, and my goal was pretty much just to do better than I did last year. The 62nd pick, James Bradbury, defensive Ooh. back South. Draft day was a little different because I was fixing the toilet when I got drafted, and then I got a I got a call from a, a Carolina area code, and then my, my heart kind of dropped a little bit. I never forget that you said your cell phone was ringing. I said, "Don't worry about the cell phone because I need the damn room straight now." You ignored me, <laughs> answered the phone, and that's when you got the call. Yeah, it was the call to your new beginning. I think transitioning into a league was like a new phase of self-doubt and trying to overcome that doubt and try to prove myself wrong. At the end of the day, we all just trying to make plays and play well. I think my role models early on definitely played a part in me being here. And I appreciate them helping me like push through the difficult times, especially playing football, being a football player. And also, I feel like it's helped me off the field too. If I had to describe my younger self, I would say timid, shy, uh, reserved. Growing up in Alabama was pretty slow. Nice people, a lot of fried food. I grew up in a single parent household. My mother pretty much raised me and my younger sister. My grandmother also played a, a big influence on raising us as well. I didn't have my dad around, uh, but I grew to be comfortable with it because there wasn't nothing I could do about it to change it. I would say it's different things that motivate me now. More so off the field, because I have my daughter now. My daughter plays a significant role in my life as far as being able to get away from football and the stresses of life a lot of times. Because no matter what, when I come home, she doesn't care about like how my day went, whatever, whatever bad play I had. She just cares about the fact that her dad's home and she wants to play with her dad. She enjoys being around me. Um, and that brings me joy. I want her to be able to talk to me about anything. And I also want to make sure that I provide her with good sound advice. Hey, Zena. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey. She loves being a grandmother. I mean, I actually enjoy watching them and have a great relationship, and uh, my daughter loves her. She calls her Nana. Almost like, I would say, me and my grandmother. I remember when I was growing up, I always wanted to be my, around my grandmother. But as I got older, I definitely remember the, the, around the time when we put her in the senior um, assistant living facility. It was difficult just going to visit her. It really showed me that we as a society don't really put a lot of emphasis on the elderly. We're so busy as humans, the elderly, it's hard to help take care of them. But they're also important to our community. I also want to show that too. All the self-doubt that I had, I really just overcame that by showing that I had confidence. I mean, whatever you do, man, show confidence. Show like you're supposed to be there. I think confidence is how you carry yourself, no matter how much doubt you got. You know, at the end of the day, it's gonna come with time, and with patience, and with hard work. And I feel like that's what I showed through football. It's been a blessing. Yeah, that's one word to, to sum it up. I don't know what else to say other than it's been a blessing.